join me on Instagram. Beautiful pictures for you guys and give you lots of good information so that you can prepare yourself well for PA school. What's up you guys? It's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. I am giving you guys the number one thing you must do before you apply to PA school. What is the number one thing that you need to do before you apply to PA school? Do your research on the PA schools that you're applying to, you guys. It sounds like a simple thing, but honestly, you guys, I think a lot of people make that mistake and they do not do the research on the schools that they're trying to apply to. Each school varies from prerequisite requirements to hours, your healthcare hours requirements to everything. Literally each, each school has a different set of requirements for their candidates. Yes, there may be some overlap. There may be some things that are core to the schools in general, but if your school requires that you have some Spanish experience. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> like one of the schools that I was trying to apply to did, but yet you do not have Spanish, you know, like Spanish course experience, you're not going to get in. You're not even going to get looked at because you're not meeting the requirements that they're setting forth. So there's this one, I'm, I just pulled it up just randomly, two different schools, PCOM, which is Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, they have a PA program, and then Jefferson College of Health Sciences PA program. And just looking at their prerequisites, okay? So PCOM has your math, your social science, which is your abnormal or developmental psychology, um, sociology, for example. Um, they also have your general chemistry, your anatomy, your biology, um, maybe a higher level biology that they require, and that's pretty much it, your anatomy and physiology. Okay, so that's what they require. When it comes to Jefferson College of Health Sciences, I'm looking at their website, and they require anatomy and physiology, one and two, general chemistry, one and two, biochemistry, or cellular biology, um, microbiology, genetics or immuno immunology, statistics, medical terminology, and six hours of psychology. So right there alone, I can pick out PCOM does not require you to have medical terminology, but Jefferson does. So let's say you took your prerequisites for your science courses and you did not know that you needed to take medical terminology or you were trying to apply to Jefferson but you saw that oh here is PCOM let me try to apply to them as well and you apply that's a waste of money because you don't meet all the requirements you don't have you don't have some of the things that they're requiring you to do just like in Jefferson if you apply if you had everything that PCOM required you to have as an applicant, you could you still cannot apply to Jefferson because they don't require medical terminology in the PCOM school, but they require it for Jefferson. So it is essential that you do your research for the schools that you're trying to apply to. When I originally applied to school the first time, I wasted a lot of money. Wasted money. Ten Gucci belts, but one waste. Wasted money. Nine shack shoes got no taste. Wasted money. I applied to a few schools and they were different from school to school and I didn't meet the requirements for all of the different schools. So let's say out of five schools, I may have really only met the requirements for three or two of the schools that I applied to. That was a waste. Don't waste your money. Wasting money. Do not waste your money applying to PA school. Do not go broke applying to PA school because there's plenty of time for that once you get into PA school. What you need to do is do your research prior to getting into PA school of the schools that you're trying to apply to so that you know that you're meeting the exact requirements that they're asking for their applicants. One thing that I definitely, definitely suggest you all do is look at the GPA requirements, your science GPA and your cumulative GPA because they vary from school to school again Jefferson I believe requires a GPA of 3.5 that is their um, their average GPA but PCOM does not require a GPA that high um, all prerequisite courses need to have a C 
on the PCOMS website. So you can have a 2.0 in all of your prerequisite courses, but they had to have been completed within 10 years. And that's another thing. Sometimes you're, you may have all of the courses, but they're not completed in the time that they need to be. Some schools require seven years. Some schools require five years. Jefferson requires 12 years, that um, 12 credits completed in the last three years, while PCOM is just saying you need 10, they need to have been done within the last 10 years. So as you can see, just from these two schools, and there are hundreds of PA schools now, you're gonna need to do your research. You have to know exactly what the school that you're trying to apply to requires, and then you cater, be the best candidate. You cater to that school. Be the best candidate that you can be for that school. You're trying to make yourself look extremely well. So you're gonna do exactly what you need to do to make yourself an amazing candidate for that school. If that means you have to take some courses over, then do that. You can go to, just type it into Google, GPA calculator or weighted GPA calculator, science GPA calculator. You will be able to put in your current courses, their GPAs that well, or the grades that you got in them, it will calculate your science GPA for you. And then you can go ahead and switch out different grades to see how you can go ahead and raise that GPA if needs be. And that is something that I had to do and I wanted to do because again, I wanted to make myself the best candidate for this next upcoming cycle. Especially if you've already applied to the school that you're planning on applying to again this cycle that you did last cycle, it's good to show that, hey guys, I am serious, I made improvement, this is what I really want, pick me. Okay, so please you guys, please, please, please do your research on the school that you're trying to apply to. It is essential to succeeding at least in getting an interview to PA schools because they are, they're going to just like, they're going to look at your application if you don't meet the requirements and then just put you off to the side. Like there's no need for, to go any further to try to find out who you are as a person. So you need to get at least in the door and then you can show them who you are as a PA student candidate, okay? All right, so that is that. Um, if you have any questions for me um, regarding that, go ahead and go ahead and leave me a comment below. Um, if you have a suggestion on a video that you would like me to do, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below as well. I will be sure to get to it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I can't say that enough. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. If you really like this video, go ahead and hit that like button as well. And if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, okay? Join me on this journey. All right, thank you guys. I will talk to you guys later.